Restructure Nigeria now or face the consequence. Yoruba elders warned President Buhari and the race for gov gubernatorial race in a Edo state hits up. Will we win? This is Plus Politics. I am Kayode Ladende. Welcome back. This is Plus Politics. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic killings, kidnapping, and banditry, the Yoruba Summit Group has urged President Muhammadu Buhari to restructure Nigeria before the 2023 elections, warning that the country may collapse if it is not restructured before 2023. The group warns that Nigeria is at the very edge of impending collapse, the group said it was persuaded that nothing short of restructuring can save the country, warning that any attempt to go ahead with elections in 2023 without addressing the issue of restructuring will spell doom for Nigeria. Joining us to discuss this is Mr. Yinka Odumaki, the spokesperson of the Afeni Ferry. Uh, uh, do we have Mr. Yinka? Good evening. Good evening, sir. And joining us in this conversation again is uh, Dikpo Olayoko, a journalist and a public affairs analyst. Good evening, Mr. Olayoko. Yes, hi, hey, good evening. Viewers, good evening. Yeah, thank you for joining. Let me start with Mr. Yinka. Uh, uh, you know, when I saw that uh, statement, I was actually looking out for your name, but uh, I want to get your take on. Are you part of this decision? Because I saw notable names that are actually part of your associates, so to say. So are you part of the people issuing this statement? Oh, clearly, clearly, clearly. And what informs this? Why, why at this time? Because when you look at Nigeria today, uh, Nigeria is at the edge of the first case, like you said. We are becoming a laughing stock. About five years ago, we said we are going to fight corruption as a country. We elected a president who will fight corruption to stand still. Five years after, this is where we are. We are now uh, one, one episode per day in terms of corruption sleeves. And the way the year is at today, you can see that we have we have lost virtually every virtue as a country. And go to the coming front. Just two days ago, we have also started that the president is going to borrow almost another 500 billion naira. We're going to borrow, 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 borrow until there's no loan anywhere around the world again. <laughs> and to think that we can borrow ourselves out of this crisis, we are, we are, we are joking. Look at the killings all over the country. Sadak at night is latest. We are losing lives on in daily basis in large numbers. And there's no solution to it. Oh, the food service seems the president has refused. And so, on all fronts today, Nigeria is in trouble. And we believe that there is no way to get out of this crisis by refilling, resetting, getting the gear back to further federalism. We're not saying that oh, federalism will solve all our problems, but the truth of the is that we cannot solve any of our, our problems today without, you know, uh, the social the country. And the truth of the matter is that there is the separatist feelings growing in different parts of the country that we have not taken. We do not do something quickly, uh, those uh, separatist feelings may take up a large part of the country. And what that happens, no division for the country. That's why we are calling on the president that this time now to retreat the country, to restructure the country, to get our people back to work, to go back to productivity. Not to think that we can borrow money to get out of, the, out of this crisis, or that we try what we have, we try that, that, that has failed to solve the problem. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Dumakin, we'll come back to some of the issues because uh, I realize that your opening remark has brought up about three issues, the issue of fiscal federalism, the issue of devolution of power, and several issues that are, that are associated with restructuring. But I'll come back to you. Let me talk to 
uh, um, Ayoko, uh, this seems to be some kind of dichotomy over time. We hear that these are Yoruba leaders. We have a long list of Fashion Roti, we have uh, Adebanjo, we have uh, Professor Akintoye, we have Ghani Adam, all shades of Yoruba leaders. Is it okay that we can conclude that this is the voice of the Yoruba race? That would be very difficult to determine because um, you have to look at the point of where did we elect these people as our leaders? Because as far as Nigeria is concerned today, the people that can actually speak for the Yorubas are the elected people. But at the same time, we should not run away from the facts of what they are calling for. My concern, I'm very happy to have listened to Mr. Lincoln Markins, my very good friend. As a matter of fact, I did not read the entire speech or the entire statement. But what was what really caught my attention when I listened to the news in the morning, especially a press report, that Nigeria might collapse before 2023. I would have loved to see the points that give them the impression that Nigeria might collapse. And so I don't forget that before the 2019 elections, we had similar things that we, if we don't restructure before 2019 election, Nigeria will collapse. It is very, very necessary for us to take a look into what happened in the first and second republic, especially the first republic. When we have Baba Fema Olowo in the west, you have um, Dr. Azikwe in the east, and then you have uh, um, Sadauna in the Sadauna, Sadauna Shukutu in the north. How were things being run then? There was competition. Not, there was competition, not rivalry. And that is what a lot of people are making reference to. Yes, yeah, good. Ali, because they said the only thing that permanent is change. It is necessary for us to try and do necessary changes. But the most important thing in the case is the dramatic personnel. Have they restructured their minds? Those who are going to be saddled with responsibility. Let us assume that we go back because a lot of people are saying, let us go back to the first republic. But interestingly, the restructuring has gone beyond the first republic where you have the west, you have the east, you have the north, and they have autonomy and stuff like that. But it has gone beyond that. Can we compare the caliber of the people we have in the first republic with the caliber of people we have now as our leaders? The answer is capital no. Yes, it is good to restructure. But I think what Nigerians should avoid this time around, especially, is some statements that are capable of inciting the people. People go about talking about Nigeria might collapse. Nigeria doesn't need that now. We need words that will preach peace. Even if there's a better, like in Yoruba, they will say, uh, there's the, the, when you are raising an alarm, it depends on the way you are raising alarm. Some people can raise alarm and people will begin to dance to it. And some people will raise alarm and then people will begin to run theater skater. I think what is very, very important now is the idea for us to be very circumspect in the type of language that we are using. Nigeria may collapse. I think we need to avoid such things because we started okay. it in 2019. Okay. As a matter of fact, I remember before the 2015 election, there was a petition by an American diplomat. That by 50, 2015 election, that Nigeria, there won't be anything Nigeria like Nigeria be. after the, after 2015 election. And here we are. So okay. I, I think uh, they could be better, they could have better put that I, message I, across. I, it's okay to way. it's okay to note your 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 reservation about the choice of words. But let me go back to uh, Mr. Dumaki. Uh, looking at uh, that statement, trying to echo what Dito highlighted, uh, I put it in quote, notwithstanding the interest of some elements in our midst, probably you might need to uh, make it clearer to us. As a political journalist, I would want to believe that that element talks about the elected officials that uh, Yinka, I mean, that Dipo alluded to probably may not be part of this. And there is also this undertone that this is the Yorubas or the South against the North. Is that what restructuring is all about? Because I can also remind you, you were part of the 2014 National Conference, and you saw the outcome that the people that were really pushing for the restructuring were more of the people from the South. 
Or I will, I will first of all, let me say that, uh, let me first join this with my brother to know that the question of uh, rights from before independence, the different parts of the country that have their cultural leaders and they are still there today. So it's not this is very right. Those are those are related for during a for a nation to go as the political leaders and they are also the cultural leaders of the various people of Nigeria. That's a, a, a misunderstanding of of what we are talking about. And as in terms of uh Iran and Nigeria, who said Nigeria will collapse, I don't know Anybody who knows where Nigeria is coming from, and who know what we are, know where Nigeria is to be, that we argue with the fact that the gets collapsing. I mean, I, I, I don't know the kind of uh, optimism that makes anybody to say that. But there's no fear for where Nigeria is to be, and that we should do something about it. So why do we have any problem with that? I, I can't understand. I accept anybody who wants to appreciate where Nigeria is as of today. If I tell you, look at, look, look at what, are, what are we earning now? What is available for us to, to, to spend? What are we borrowing? What, look at the clinic, life, life and center. Is that what anybody should be happy about? And I say, for something like that, definitely no. And that's what I see in the system as whole. But in the interest of this country, it's a bad time. That's true of this country at this moment. So, this has to be one of the reasons and the way to destroy the country so that we can keep the country together, we can reorganize the country, and then we can keep it along the path of progress. But the way we are now, uh, everybody who, who understands from our small society function will know that things are not well and we cannot continue this way. Okay, I, I, I'm concerned about the regional interpretation that we are giving to this. Staying with you, Mr. Odumaki, uh, how, how do we explain this? It, it appears the Yorubas have something that probably other people are yet to understand because people will say that we'll expect the likes of the South South to talk about this restructuring louder than the, the Yorubas in terms of yeah. the resources that they have. What can you educate us more on the reason behind this drive by these octogenarians, by these old people saying that at least before they go, they want to see a restructured Nigeria? Look, the question of the cultural issue is not, it's not just a part of your mind, Logan. Presently, we have what we call the, the South South, the South East, the South West, and the Middle West. They're together. All these zones. They are presently in, 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 in court against the way the country has been arranged in terms of lopsided appointments in the last five years. So it's not it's not a, it's not a Yoruba thing alone. But it is just a Yoruba thing, respecting what all these zones have voiced out clearly in terms of the need to put the country at right. Nigeria is not well at the moment. The country is sick, and you cannot continue this way and think that, oh, we are, we are, we are, good, we are good right way. We are not. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Dickbo, let me help you. Since you haven't seen the statement, let me give you some of the quotes there. One of the things that these leaders mentioned is that they will mobilize the Yorubas not to participate in any election until restructuring or self-determination is attained. And uh, they seem to be very unequivocal about this. Do you think this is just a mere rhetoric? So is the I'm sure you stayed long enough to know. I, I don't think. Uh, I, 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 I thought of fact, what you just said uh, sounded very strange to me, because uh, when they said the Yorubas would not take part in 2023 elections, uh, I would have loved to see those people who wrote that thing because I they I would say they didn't mean it, because what do they have? to stop elections to hold in 2023. That's why I said, you see, the only people that can talk about stopping election in 2023 are the political leaders. Let me tell you one thing. The issue of restructuring, sorry, perhaps what's when what's people the see it as a of thing, political leaders, is because uh, it didn't start today. Dibbo, sorry, what's, what's your definition of political leaders? Do you have to be elected to be a political leader? Yes, because it is true election that you can know the people that can represent you. As simple as ABC. 
Okay. It is through election that you can know the people that can record that, can record, that can represent you. Or somebody will just uh, stand in the middle of the road or that the village square and say no election will hold. Mm -hmm. These are things that are not possible. As they are saying that some people are already preparing the election for 2023 elections. And I don't think that general rubbers will want to be left behind when the things really start. You, you see, there's a the need for us to be very serious when you are talking about restructuring. Yes, some people see it as a Yoruba thing because it's because of Papa Papa who started this thing very, very many years ago. But the point is, what we are saying is that yes, it is good to restructure. But I think what Nigeria needs more than anything now is let us preach peace. There's no problem that we have today that we have never experienced in the, before in the history of this country. There's no, there's, no, there's no problem that is confronting this great country today that are new things. So that is why every patriotic Nigerian should be thinking of how do we get across over this country? Okay. Uh, is uh, it the problem of corruption uh, uh, I will that come we didn't back have that. in the First Republic? Uh, uh, is it the problem of let, physical let, let's listen to that we didn't have in the First this. Republic when we even have the restructuring? So uh, the, the, the point is there's a need for us to be very articulate in what we're asking Good. for. Good. Let's, let's you are talking about a uh, government borrowing money. Are they borrowing? Why they not borrowing money in the then? So these things are not the problem of restructuring. Okay. It is the problem of the dramatic personnel in our politics. Good. Good. So that is why that should be the major focus. Let's let's have Inga so react to this because he mind. is fully in support of this statement. So do you agree with uh, Dipo that uh, that statement was probably not well thought out? Well, it's a uh, it depends on its own interpretation of issues, and from and it's only, it's, it's not it's not sitting at the on the seat of those who are praising the issues of Nigeria as it is today. So, as a as a, as a commentator, yes, it's attached to its own interpretation, and I will not deny him that. But when the, when the leaders across the other zones begin to speak. I hope we we'll are able to characterize that this way. When you dismiss the leaders from this section of the country, when you dismiss the leaders from that country, who feel so strong about the issues of Nigeria. But for me, it's not about the debates on this forum. It's about the fact of what world Nigeria is today, where Nigeria is today. How do we get out of, out, of, out, of, out of this? We cannot. We are insisting that we cannot use the same uh, uh, system that created the way for you to move on. That we have to re retool to reset Nigeria, and 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 and, that's, and, and socially it's not a big grammar. Hmm. It's about returning back to federalism. That's what you're talking about. Beautiful. And Be anybody who does not understand on uh, appreciate the fact that Nigerians will restore or said today, if that does not appreciate okay. Yinka, where we are or does not love the country. Yinka, in trying to appreciate the position of restructuring, uh, 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 yes. an argument ensued among some political pundits, and they said that uh, a very good example is what is happening over the issue of NDDC probe, where we have. Uh, yes. People from the same region, imagine if powers have been devolved. Are we not going to have, pardon my language, more embezzlement, so to say? Let, let, let's, not, let's, let's not make any mistake. NDC, NDC is, not, is not about, it's not about what you're talking about. NDC is an agency created to replicate the central authority that we have in Abuja across zones. And you cannot create something different from, from what you're coming from. Okay. So we are sad about what's happening in Niger, Niger, Niger NDC, but it is not that that's not what I thought I was talking about about social need. About the authority uh, power and authority to the people. This was about Abuja creating its own image. In zone, even, even uh, not the development commission, which we just started just yesterday. Have you not seen the corruption all over the place there? Okay. Corruption is, main, is the defining 
it's defining uh, structure, structure under this arrangement of unitarianism. So let's not, let's not miss those two. Beautiful. Thank, thank, thank you for your position there. I, I'm so scared yes. that uh, our time is far spent. Uh, Mr. Dickpo, please, okay. you have uh, 30 seconds. I'm sorry if I sound unfair to you. To explain these, uh, what no, he has no, said. No problem. Sorry, uh, before you please. respond, what he has I, I, said. I think uh, okay. what, is, what is playing out in Nigeria has just come to tell us that the problem is not the problem of the structure, but the problem of the dramatic personnel. You have just mentioned the case of the NDDC. Even if you restructure and then you devote power to the states or to the whatever region, are they not the same dramatic personnel that will be operating at that level? So the problem is not that of the structure per se. Nobody is against the structure. What about the, the, the principal actors? Once thing will restructure our minds. That is more than any other thing. Okay. When the, for the later Ayakuyili was the DG of uh, NAVDAC, what happened to NAVDAC? Okay. Have they changed NAVDAC from then till now? Can you compare the NAVDAC of today with the NAVDAC of the woman? That's later Ayakuyili. When the, the former governor of Akwaibon, Gospel Lapabio, was the governor of Akwaibon, we know what the guy did in Akwaibo. Was he the only one collecting 13% derivation? Was he the only one collecting money from federal government? And the, the, but you can see the difference he made. It is the individual. Okay. Until we change our mindset, Thank you. we will continue to ring my role and move in circle. That is more important Thank than you so this. much. Deepo Nobody is against Thank But you the so point much. is, until we restructure the mindset of the dramatic personnel, we will continue to move in circles. Thank you so much. I won't get any results. Uh, NDPC have just shown us that one. Our time is far spent. Thank you so much, Dikpo Layoku, for your position. And uh, like uh, Mr. Yinka Odumaki has also said, that uh, these voices, these cries, should not be discarded. It should be taken seriously. The conversation continues on all our social Nobody media. Nobody's against the Sorry, I, I, you have taken your position. Thank you for your time. And uh, thank you for staying with us, our viewers. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, Edo Politics is up next for discussion. We'll be right back.